All right, welcome back to Cruise Control. My name's Eric, and today we talk about two EV trucks. Let's talk about that right now. Welcome to Cruise Control. My name is Eric. We're gonna start looking at some new cars and used cars to find out what's the best option for you. Let's see what's up next. Alright, so the two EV trucks, I'm sure you guys have guessed it by now. One is the Cybertruck, the other is the Ford F-150 Lightning. These are going to be the most affordable ones, but maybe not. We'll get into that in a second. So the Tesla Cybertruck started off at $39,000. I was very excited for it when it first came out. Bullet resistant stainless steel doors, bullet resistant glass. It didn't work so well when they threw the little... Uh, metal ball on stage and it cracked the window that was kind of funny and it's kind of designed by like a five-year-old so I like Tesla's but this was starting on the wrong side of it for me really big it's got a six and a half foot bed uh, like I said it was supposed to start at $39,000 single motor it's supposed to be able to tow 7,500 pounds 250 miles of range zero to 60 in about six and a half seconds however you go to Tesla's website now that's not on there now it just says order now and it says you can configure your stuff later does that mean they're going to change the pricing like they have on every other single vehicle you can't even get a thirty-nine thousand dollar tesla model 3. how are you supposed to get a thirty-nine thousand dollar cyber truck i doubt it'll ever happen tell me i'm wrong down below next up for the cyber truck was supposed to be the forty-nine thousand dollar dual motor tow up to ten thousand pounds 300 miles of range zero to sixty in four and a half seconds Top the line, $69,000 tri-motor, tow up to 14,000 pounds, 500 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. All of them were going to come with an air suspension, which is going to have up to 16 inches of ground clearance, amazing. Six and a half foot bed, awesome. And a 17 inch center uh, screen. Here's the problem with that center screen. There's no gauge cluster. This is the problem that I had with the Model 3. The Model 3 had that center as well. Well, that's fantastic when that's working, but when I was driving, the whole system rebooted. I couldn't see how fast I was going. So am I going to get in an accident? Is, am I going to get a speeding ticket because I don't know how fast I'm going? So I had to pull over as safely as I could until the system rebooted a couple minutes later. I didn't like that. I don't like not having a gauge cluster, number one. So I don't like just that little center stack. Plus, you have to take your eyes off the road. I don't care if it's in the top left-hand corner. Your eyes are up here, it's down here. A gauge cluster is here, and a heads-up display is even better. So I don't like that center screen. I don't really like the outside of it, and I don't like that Tesla keeps changing their minds on, oh, we're going to charge this now. Now, never mind, we're going to charge this now. Oh, we're going to charge this now. I know every manufacturer raises pricing, but Tesla keeps going back and forth, back and forth. We're going to lower it. We're going to raise it. We're going to lower it. We're going to raise it. We don't ever know what Tesla's doing, and you know what? I'm sick and tired of it. I'm done. So let's move on to the 2022 Ford Lightning. This one here has promise. Let me tell you why. 39,000 tows 200 more than the uh, single motor over at uh, Tesla. So it's uh, 7,700 pounds. Less range though, 230 miles of range versus 250 miles of range. But this is a dual motor from the get-go. This is not a single motor, meaning this is all-wheel drive from the get-go. So I like this better. Now, $39,000. This gets you a vinyl interior. This gets you a 12 inch screen, so it's a smaller screen, but it has a gauge cluster, which is another 12 inches. So I like that as well. Um, got good enough towing for me on a daily basis. It's got 2.4 kilowatts, so you can uh, charge stuff out the back. So you know what? Five and a half foot bed's big enough for me. This thing is, looks like a regular truck. I know it's not bullet resistant and all that kind of fun stuff, but you know what? I had an F-150 before, didn't die on me. My dad's had two F-350s, didn't die on him. So you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the Ford here. I'm also looking forward to what Chevy does with the EV Silverado, what Dodge does with the EV Ram, and what Toyota does with the EV Tundra or Tacoma. So, but for right now, this has my attention, especially with that eye-catching $39,000 uh, $39, price. Here's why. In the state of Colorado, I get $2,500 off of that instantly. I don't even have to get a tax rebate. I can say, hey, I want all $2,500 off of that right now. So now I'm down to $3,750, $37,500, right? And then I can get another $7,500 uh, tax rebate federal. So now I'm down to $30,000. So this truck's only going to cost me thirty dollars in the state of Colorado. 
My house is going to have solar power and a battery wall so I can charge it off the grid. So this thing, I can use it every day. Because I'm going to get the standard range, it has the higher payload. So 2,000 pounds of payload versus 1,800 with the extended range. The extended range does give you 300 miles though. So you get 70 more miles of range. Then you also get that 10,000 uh, pound towing. I think I'll be fine with the 7,700 and having the bigger payload and most importantly, that cheaper starting price of $39,000. Uh, so which one of these two do you like better? Now, if you want the bigger screen, you're going to go with the Cybertruck. It's got the 17 inch screen. The one I'm getting is only going to have a 12 inch screen, but the bigger one is a 15 inch screen in the Ford. So you can get a bigger screen. It's still not going to be quite as big as the one in the Tesla. But you know what? I like the interior better. I like the exterior better. I like that Ford's not playing games with pricing or taking stuff down and plant kind of hiding stuff. You tell me. Uh, between these two, I'm going with the Lightning. You tell me which one you would go to if you were spending your own money. Tell me Cybertruck and why. Tell me Lightning and why. Leave your comments down below. My name's Eric. This is Cruise Control. Thank you for watching.